Hey everybody, it's 615 Tennessee Titans, and I am just now doing this right after my previous video. I'm giving my thoughts on what the Tennessee Titans did with their 10th pick. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, if, you, if you're interested to see what I think about wh what they did, go check it out. But this video is now a video that I was going to do yesterday, but I was watching the draft, and I also didn't mention it, but I was watching the Grizzlies game as well. So... And I got tired. Um, I'm in pretty. I haven't had much sleep all week, uh, so I needed that. I needed some sleep. I didn't wake up till 11. No, so, went to bed at like one. I didn't go. To, I didn't get up till about 11. So I got so much good sleep. However, I kept. I woke up at six, and then I woke up at seven, and then I didn't wake up till 11 until my alarm clock woke me up. Um. So yeah. But today's video is what I was going to do yesterday, but I forgot to. Well, pretty much I was busy and tired at the same time. Uh, the video is my review of this game. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. This is the game I got when my new PC 3DS. If you saw my previous video that I had gotten a, or not previous video, one of my previous videos that I got a PC 3DS XL. Um, and it was like the last copy of GameStop. Uh, and then I got Luigi's Mansion, and my brother got Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Gates and Shadows, so I don't remember what it's called. <clears throat> I'm not too big in the Mystery Dungeon. Um, and it's probably good, but I never got given it a chance. And I'm not too big into the RPG elements. I mean, I can get into some RPG games, but some I can't. Um, but we mentioned Dark Moon. So, it has been about... We just mentioned one came out, like 2001, something like that. So it's been about 12 years since since uh, the first one came out. Uh, if you liked the first one, and you thought it was good, you're going to love this one. Now, the thing of it is, when I first saw this at E3, when I first saw the E3 trailer, I thought it was going to be kind of kiddish, and I thought the way that, the way that you captured ghosts in the game, I thought it wasn't going to be that great. I was surely wrong, because the controls, they, they work pretty well for, for a 3DS game. Um, the story of this one, um, the story goes, um, Professor Egad is in a mansion, uh, working on something with, with ghosts that are friendly ghosts for some reason. Um, but then, but then, uh, a, a boo, uh, I won't give it away, but I'm pretty sure you know who it's, who it's gonna be, because it's pretty much not that easy to figure, hard to, not that hard to find out. Um, Shatters what is the dark moon, um, and the dark moon gets shattered, and the booths that uh, Professor E. had to work with start, start to go crazy and terrorize his lab. Um, with that in mind, Professor E. Gad then calls Luigi through the television set. I don't know why they did it like that, but hey, eh, I, won't, I won't complain. Then, that's pretty much how it is. You gotta get the, I think it's like six or five Dark Moon pieces. It's like, yeah, it's like five because there's, no, they're six because you start, because you start out with one Dark Moon piece and then you have to go to five mansions, um, to get, to get the remaining Dark Moon pieces. And then the last level, which is pretty much the last level, which you would think, and it is the final boss, um, I won't give away who the final boss is, but I'm pretty sure you already know who it's going to be, so. Negative as it is, you probably already know. The guy pretty much is to Luigi what Mario is to Bowser. Pretty much, that's, I probably gave it away right there, but it's not really that easy, and it's not really that. I played through, even knowing the game before it came out, I knew who the final boss was going to be. It's not that hard to figure out. Um, so, the gameplay, uh, well, did I finish the story, um, so yeah, well, I want to give, the, okay, we'll go to the gameplay, uh, I'll start out with, 
in Luigi's Mansion 1, or just Luigi's Mansion, um, you, you only were in one mansion, and you did, like, three sections of the game, which was a very short game, it really was, but if you didn't know what to do at first, then it kind of, it's going to take you a couple of tries. Um, with this game, I don't know if it, it, cause it took me about a week or two, it took me about like two weeks to beat this game, I'm not going to lie, Cause it, well, most, most, mostly because there was like a three day process where I wasn't playing the game, and then, because I was stuck on the level, and then I got back to it, and I finally beat it, and then I, uh, didn't breathe through it, but, um, yeah, so there's, so in this one, Dark Moon, there are five mansions, um, I don't remember the name, but if I knew that I was going to do this, I would have gotten my 3DS and would have seen the, um, I'm going to try to think. I would have seen where, um, what the, the levels of the mansion were called. But there's my mansion, and honestly, this game, although the first boss, uh, the first boss caught me off guard because I somewhat didn't know what to do, although it pretty was kind of... First boss, honestly, out of the five bosses, or six, was the most annoying, I'm not going to lie. It took me a while to figure it out. Um, the funny thing is, I was, I was going to look up a video on how to beat it. The funny thing is... Um, I usually don't look up videos, but if it's to the point where I'm stuck, I will look up something. The, the funny thing is, as soon as he was getting ready to fight the, the first boss, I instantly knew what to do. I was like, are you serious? This, it took me this long to figure it out. But anyways, um, so, and also the boos are in this game too, uh, you gotta collect... There's at least one, there's like one boo in each level, um, except for the final bosses, or the final bosses in that mansion. Um, I haven't captured all the boos, I need to go back, I've already beaten this game, I need to go back and collect all the boos, and then you get like a boo mission, and see what that's all about, but I can't give you any details about that, because I don't really know much about it, because I haven't gotten all the boos yet, I'm going to go try to do that eventually. But, um... The controls, uh, it, it worked pretty well. I think for a 3DS game, going into this game, I wasn't sure on how it was going to be. And even when I got this game, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about this game. But the person that was giving me this game, that was, when I was ringing me up for the game, was like, you will be amazed because this game is amazing. I took her word for it, and she was right. This game is amazing. Um... Now, the game doesn't start getting hard until about the fourth or fifth mansion. Uh, it's pretty, although the first boss, when you first play it, you don't know what to do. You might get stuck on it for a couple of minutes. After that, after that one, it's really not that hard. Otherwise, you might get stuck on some part. Because the game doesn't really give away stuff that much, but... Um, it makes sure you think in this game. This one, they really make sure. Although the first one did do the same thing, but this one, they make sure, you know, they make you think. Um, there's some parts where I was like, I didn't know what to do, and there was, there was a part where it was so obvious on what I needed to do, and I didn't, I was sitting around for like, walking around for like 10 minutes what to do, and my brother came up to me and was like, uh, what's that thing? I triggered it and I was like, are you kidding me? I was sitting around here for 10 minutes and you instantly knew what to do. Because he's good at those type of games where if he, there's like a puzzle to solve, he knows how to do it. Um, I'm not that big of a puzzle guy, um, so yeah. So, um, I played the multiplayer for a little bit, but... Not to the point where I can get really much of a grade. I think it is pretty cool somewhat that they have multiplayer in this game. Um, it's basically it's like a team up. There's like a team up mode, 
and something else I don't remember what it is. Um, what else? Also, the dog. If you, you can see right here, if you can see that dog, which is like right there, get used to seeing him because you're gonna see him a lot, and he's gonna start getting annoying. He can start pissing you off. I'm just throwing that out. Um, so. I don't know what else pretty much I can say about this game, but that it's a pretty good game. Uh, what I give this game, I'm I'm gonna give this game a 9.25 out of 10. Um, because it's just it took Luigi's Mansion One. It was a great game. This game just improved on it and was in it's ten times better. People don't like it. Some someone in the comments didn't like it because I think it was too childish or something like that. But don't take don't judge a book by its cover. It is an amazing game. It I enjoyed this game, although I guess it's somewhat short. But I think it's it's more lengthier than the first game. I would say. Um, I don't know if that's because I was stuck on stuff for a while, but. I want to say maybe it's a little more lengthier than the first game. I don't know. You be the judge of that if you played it already and let me know. But I give this game a 9.25 and I recommend if you, if you don't, if, yeah, I can't talk today. Am I, I'm starting to lose <clears throat> my throat because I'm not used to talking this much in a constant repeat. Um, if you're unsure about this game, at least give this game a rent. At least give this game a rent. If you if you if you're thinking about buying this game, buy this game. If you're unsure about buying it, if you want to buy it but you're unsure, buy it. If you're still unsure, at least give it a rent. But this is a this is honestly a must buy. Because this game is amazing. I love this game. Uh, I haven't gone back yet. I beat this game like two weeks ago, and I, but I still haven't gone back and gotten all the booze. I'm going to eventually do that. Um, but yeah. Uh, that was my review of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Not much I really covered. I really kind of covered some of the basics of it. I didn't want to give away too much. But I probably pretty much gave away the final boss even though it's pretty obvious on who the final boss is. It's really not that hard. Kind of like how it's not that hard to figure out what a final boss of a Mario game would be. Although some some Mario games do tend to draw you off sometimes. But for the most part, they tend to be Bowser for the most part. But anyways, um That was Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Great to see Luigi in another game again. It's great to see Luigi's Mansion again. I I loved the first game and I was really pumped for this game. Um so yeah. Oh, that was my review. Like I said, I give it a 9.25 out of 10, which in my book means it's a must-buy. And it's a really great game. But anyways, uh, that was my review, and I'm going to end it off here, and maybe I'll start to start to maybe work on the, um, the Sonic Generations LP, although I might want to give my voice a rest because I've been sitting here for about 14 minutes straight talking with Nothing to drink, and I should have gotten a cup, a bottle of water. But um, anyways, uh, I'm getting ended up here. This is six one five Tennessee Titan. Like I said, one more time, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, a nine point two five out of ten, a must buy, a rent if you're still unsure. Anyways, six one five Tennessee Titan. See you guys later. Peace.